Hi Leo, the Awakened Dreamer here to give you your weekly tarot reading for the week of May 2nd to the 8th, 2022. Thank you so much for joining me. Do keep in mind this is general for your week, so just take what resonates. But I want to thank you in advance for your likes, comments, and subscriptions to this channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you for the love and support. And uh, as well, to book a personal reading with myself, just reach out via email. Everything you need is down below in the description box. Um, but also don't forget to stick with me to the very end of this reading to get an answer to your own yes or no question. So think of it along the way. As I take a moment to catch my breath, as you should as well throughout the week, the song that Spirit chose to speak upon your week on Shuffle, Head and Heart featuring Manek, if I said that correctly, by uh, Joel Corey, okay, Head and Heart. I love this song. I'll leave it down below for you to listen to and or look up the lyrics. And being a little bit unprepared, I'm getting this out of the box so we can pull um, a beginning oracle from the Sacred Light Oracle deck, okay? A little bit serious if you look at the, um, there's a reason I showed the box and I feel like it was due to the image of her face. I truly feel as if a lot of Leos drawn to this reading are going to be very serious most of the week, but accomplishing a lot, okay? Feeling as if people are just very drawn to your energy and um, your uh, eye contact. Even if you choose to break up that eye contact due to a little bit of nervousness or spirituality or just um, needing a break from it because it's so intense, feeling very connected to people, but people are feeling more connected to you. Um, they're saying your head and your heart are meshing very well going back to the song um, throughout this week. But we have um, a very angelic way about you, but a very passionate, uh, fiery side of you. I mean, we are a fire sign of a Leo sign if you're new. Um, don't be surprised if you can feel, if for some you're used to it, a very intense spiritual presence around you throughout the week. But um, splitting it to an angel deck, um, an angel, excuse me, an angel card and a fire card, definitely a very split vibe about your energy your way of being how the week feels as well for leo sacred space okay interesting because i was just pushed to think about how your heart is a sacred space to protect to utilize to your advantage and um they're saying in comparison to your head but also with it okay um together we unite is what i'm now hearing Underlining focus on your independence, bringing you comfort uh, on past restrictions as well as healing um, from your past, all right? So potentially an underlining focus on emotions that need to be dealt with, wounds that need to be healed before a next chapter, okay? Before a lot of success that is on the horizon for you. Wow, Ugh, this is a lot already. Um, keywording, okay? It could be for a new beginning you're embarking upon sacred space talking about positive outcome clarity lucky attraction very nice and removing obstacles feeling as if clarity is rolling in left and right as there's a positive outcome on the horizon for you but also within this week you know this being the card that flew out the main one for you even though we spoke upon several other ones you can just feel the peaceful presence about oneself throughout the week you can feel the presence of this card the feeling of it the energy being very peaceful, people being impressed by how calm you are, but how productive and how uh, impressive you are. Um, did that make any sense? So be it if you don't make complete sense throughout the week, it just feels like you have to do a lot of speaking. It feels like, there again, there's this angelic presence about you, around you. Um, they're saying within you, but also just a lot taking place, almost like a whirlwind around you feeling as if you have a very, very busy uh, but peaceful week ahead for oneself. Let's continue and pull from the Mermaid Tarot deck, a layered spread, if you will. Planning, getting ready, learning, I feel the need to say. Uh, creating and developing in a very passionate way. I just feel like you're beginning something new throughout the week and it's very, um, it's a bit overwhelming, okay? Remember, it's a lot right off the bat or just already, but it's going to bring you a level of success, I feel like attention but also um, financial gain is what i'm getting king of swords in the world coming out all right 
being uh, at times again viewed as somebody who's very overly serious but focused and will just get the job done um very wise in a lot of ways but a little bit guarded a little bit frustrated very much messed with spiritually i feel the need to say it's come up in your readings before um, as your world changes feeling like you're gaining a little bit more control in your world as you do feel um, a little bit out of place okay reminding you why you desire something new on the horizon just to keep swimming and do what you got to do until things improve or until things feel more in place for oneself i do feel as if you're pushed to recognize that it's a week of healing okay once again um, splitting the deck oddly enough upside down to give us the three of swords in reverse speaks upon those swords falling um, even though it's interestingly enough not falling in this imagery but typically you in the three of swords image you would see the swords falling out of uh, whatever um, placement they they've taken in that imagery <laughs> anyways I'm being spoken through bear with me and you probably will throughout the week as well but I just feel as if you're being reminded you're healing okay that was the point of that <laughs> you're gonna find that it's almost uh, it's purposeful but it's just not even within your control if you over speak uh, over word just go with the flow okay for Leo so in certain ways you feel in control in other ways you don't okay we have the magician coming out as well as the six of cups and the hierophant again gaining clarity flashbacks thinking about the past to remind you of the strength within you as a lion but also to uh, remind you how much you've been through so you can um, heal okay um, manifesting something that will remind you of the past an area I feel the need to say will give you intense flashbacks even though it's changed um, either completely or in just a lot of ways change being the name of the game desiring change in the future and just being reminded how places situations other people you change okay changed in a lot of ways um it's for the better in certain ways in other ways it could be a bit disheartening i just feel like you're ready to move on in certain ways but it's not time yet very very spiritually connected as i feel like there's a lot going on okay your mind could be non-stop throughout this week um some of which spirit deserves credit for but with the nine of pentacles reaching for the independent that independence excuse me even if it feels a bit difficult at certain points sometimes people viewing you as a little bit um mysterious in certain ways i was going to say creepy but they changed it to mysterious that's how you should be viewing it okay it is what it is it may have to do more so with your spirituality there's a nice balance throughout the week even though you're very busy um, between putting in that damn hard work and resting okay doing what you have to do uh, being reminded you're protected in a new beginning when it comes to work all right um i just feel like there's a let's go let's go kind of vibe at certain points and other points it's like ooh, wow i am overworked okay i am one tired individual we also have the ace of cups coming out again a new beginning within this week um, making you feel very abundant a, a reminder that moving forward your cup's going to overflow even more um, it may feel like you're kind of swimming underwater at certain points it may feel as if it's your heart uh, struggling excuse me to speak at certain points but if it, I was going to say struggling to breathe at certain points due to your spirituality or all you have going on or just just trying to do your best okay and you are and you're going to succeed but it's like even in those moments things feel somewhat peaceful okay thinking about your abundant past and how much struggle there was wrapped up in it a, a place a situation something of the sort will give you again flashbacks a very uh, reminiscent uh, reminiscent vibe um i did not mean to say that a very uh, nostalgic vibe was what i was going for um where you just remember it was a decent chapter of my life but was definitely not easy okay it had its struggles its successes but it just feels like there's something you glorified in your mind in certain ways um, in other ways you didn't but it just feels like that glorification is becoming more realistic okay um, that situation that the glorification is being stripped away as they show somebody taking their rose tinted glasses off all right um, I feel like also that could tie into people for a select few of you 
desiring an ending being very much depleted throughout the week okay so don't force it you don't need to that's the main point that i want to make at this point in the reading oh wow i mean i just feel like i haven't stopped speaking for the entire reading but with the eight of uh, swords the um the knight of swords and the seven of wands it just feels like you're a bit tied up in a situation that makes you feel as if you just want to break free okay wanting to charge towards something new in a very uh, passionate sort of slight feisty manner and having a lot come towards you okay in the midst of that in the midst of different obligations different situations it's a week that reminds you that you have a lot of success on the horizon but it's also going to entail a level of hard work continuing right increasing as things get busier for you throughout the week but again, don't forget to embrace and maintain that peaceful way of being as you are very spiritually connected and seeing the abundance overflow from one's cup. All right, beautiful. Let's answer your question. They're saying this reading was a bit all over the place, which is true. Um, speaking upon your week to an extent. For Leo. Alrighty, as it picks up speed, keywording, you're getting an answer of no. You gotta know. So I hope this was truly helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Go have yourself an amazing week, and I'll see you next time. Bye, Leo.